hey guys welcome back to power apps learning channel today we are going to learn about model driven apps you might have seen uh, from the power apps portal when you are creating new app there are two different templates one you can create canvas app and then second is model driven app <clears throat> you might have tried to create one but due to the licensing issues or you are not authorized to create it so we are going to see all the details about it what is model driven app how to create it what all things are related to it so let's get into it so um, the name suggests as the name suggests uh, it is app which is driven by data models in my understanding it is a gui or ui to manage the data in common data service in previous video we have seen what is common data service how you can store the data in common data service to create a model driven app you need specific license you won't be able to create it with the office 365 subscription you need to either you can try with the trial version of license for 30 days or you need to purchase power apps per user or per app license or if you have dynamics 365 subs subscription you will be able to create model driven apps so these are the component focused no code design apps in order to create a model driven app you need to have a data model ready you need to have your business process flows ready before you actually create a model driven apps and the components what you can use in a model driven app are like entities dashboard business process flows forms views and charts we are going to see uh, in detail for each of these components so just to uh, explain this in a simpler way this diagrams explain you like on the left hand side you can see that a cds you need to create your data model in common data service one thing you should remember is you can only connect to the data which is stored in a common data service through model driven app you won't be able to connect to a sharepoint database or sql db the, the data has to be there in common data service so in the common data service you need to create your data model you you need to create entity which is a table then you need to create views forms charts dashboards all these things you can create in cds itself and then you will create a business process flows to define how user is going to manage the data in what steps and once this is ready you can start with the model driven app once you create a model driven app you can add all these entities all these components into your app so in one app you can see all the records of your entities you can have different views you can uh, open different forms you can have charts dashboards and the bpf is also integrated into it so some real time examples which are using model driven app and which are using common data service is dynamics 365 sales customer service power apps portal itself is <clears throat> itself itself is a model driven app which is which is storing its data in common data service ai builder so all these uh, features or products which microsoft has launched they are already a model driven apps and using common data service as a backend now let's switch to the power apps portal where we can try and create one model driven app so this is the power apps studio under the data tab <clears throat> as i mentioned earlier before you uh, start creating model driven app you have to have your data model ready so under this data tab i have entities so inside these entities i have created my own entities which is project and unit if i show you this is my entity you can see the type is custom <clears throat> if i just click on it there are fields into it you can add fields 
you can add data and you can see all these tabs you can add the views views same as sharepoint list views forms again same as sharepoint forms or power apps forms you can define what fields to be shown in which section dashboard charts and data so here you can see the data i have added some sample data also in this entity so this is the sample data so i have my data model ready there is another entity which is unit uh, you can see this so this is we yeah, are searching sorry we will go back to the entities search in the entity you can see this entity so we have project and unit two entities and these are related to each other in the relationship i have created many to one relationship you can see this project is linked to a unit with many to one relationship you can create a relationship between your tables now let's go to home tab and you can create app click on model driven app from blank click on create it will open an app designer where you can provide name and description to your app still loading so we are going to name it as projects and units use this app to manage projects and units so i'm keeping the the rest of the things as default you can change the icon if you want and just click on done so this will create so this is the model driven app you can see the ui over here and these are the components which you can drag drop on the left side canvas bar there are some few things which you need to configure here you can see the configuration is missing we'll just click on edit the sitemap is the thing where which will define the navigation you can specify all your links and navigation so we'll just rename this to projects group projects so this is the section this is the group and on the right side you can see that we can specify what entity we need to link to this model driven app so you can select the types you can specify uh, external urls in your app you can link provide the links to the external urls web resource and dashboards i need to link my model driven app to the entity so let's go ahead and search our entity which is project keep rest of the thing as is and just click on save so what we have done is we have linked our entity project entity to this model driven app i'll just go back to the app designer again and now you can see here in entity view that project entity is there you can add multiple entities on it and then whatever forms views and charts which i showed you in the entities those all the forms view charts and dashboard whatever you are going to create in here those will be available in your model driven app so if i just show you again so all these things you can create views here you can create forms here you can create charts here if i just show you the view one of the view active projects so if i just click on it you can define what columns so you see this this is the view which i have created the active projects view was already there i just uh, added the columns into it so they the way you want you can create your views and as i said all those forms views charts dashboards will be available here so you can select what all forms to be accessible in this model driven app what all views to be accessible in this 
uh, model do you have what charts what dashboards you can select all of that so if, for example if you just click on forms you can see that these forms are available if you click on views these views are available so you can select which views so this this was the chart i just created and then there is one more option here is you can uh, link business process flows so as i said business process flows is how you enter the data how you split the data with different users so first set of data is entered by a few specific users and then second set of data is going to be entered by another user or there is review process there is approval process publishing information so all that you can handle with the business process flow so you can create a business process flow link to the project entity and it will automatically appear here same as uh, forms views and charts and dashboards so <clears throat> to start with this i'll just save this we have already linked a project entity with our model driven app i'll just save it and then i'll just publish it let's go ahead and play it let's see what happens <clears throat> so on the top you can see the url this part is your this particular part is your business unit you can find this from the power platform admin center you can rename it you can add your own business unit depending on your organization so now you can see this is the model driven app which we have created which is projects and units and this you can see the left side section project group and projects these are the links which we had created from the site map you can add plenty of things here uh, the navigations you can add here from here you can uh, play with sort filter group everything anything you can do here it's almost you can say it's similar to the sharepoint list view you can export this data or you can add new records let's try and add new record so you can see this form i have created uh, with these different sections date and status floor and units this is general section so i'll just go back you can view specific uh record just go back again let's click on show charts and see if there is any chart available so you can see this now i have created this chart from the common data service and this chart is available in my model driven app so you can see all your tabular data as well as you can see the charts here so you can add as many charts as you want and in this model driven app you can see everything you can see the data you can manage the data you can see some statistics with the chart with the help of chart you have the left side navigation on the top you have this different uh, options here you can delete record you can refresh you can send particular record uh, as a link or the email and as i said you can export the data also through excel you can select specific record and mark it as activate or deactivate if you want to archive the data or if you don't want uh, the data to be available <coughs> to the users so you can just deactivate it and specify in your views just to show the active activated data only or active data only so that's it in this video we have seen what is a model driven app uh, what are components we need to be created to before you create a model driven app in the common data service you need to create entity views forms charts dashboard you can use or you can insert all these components into your model driven app that's it. Uh, I hope this will help you guys. Thank you for watching.